And so here we are, getting ready to play the third conference in Mark Herman's Churchill. Okay. And conference three. Quebec, Quadrant, August 1943. Oh, the A version, the supposedly historical version. Okay, let us see. Churchill disagrees. Place UK, directed UK offensive issue on conference table. So, in other words, um, there, I guess? Yeah. New boats, roll 1d6, 1, 3, 3. Mermaid's Convoy, 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 and which will give us more production. Soviet's probably looking for a good roll here. Two, so yes, indeed, we will get some more production out of that, which amounts to... Right there. Okay. So four production so far from them. General Groves, place the A-bomb research issue on the conference table. Okay. And this is going to be in addition to the um, other ones. Okay. All right, what are the Germans doing? U.S. and U.K. must use one production each for offensive in the Mediterranean theater. All right. We'll put these over here as a mnemonic. Okay. And finally, Yugoslavian partisan dispute. Roll 1d6. On 1 to 3, remove all clandestine networks on a 4 6, remove political alignment marker. I assume just in Yugoslavia. <laughs> right? <laughs> 1d6. 6. Ah, uh, Yugoslavia does not have a... I don't think. Mm, 7 cards each. Oh, you shall number. Alright. Let's take a look here. Got 3 5 cards. I drew strong this time. I'm gonna have to break out some palm mills here. Harry Hopkins, Rural Harriman, so we track or Churchill is active. Pretty flexible there. I've seen, seen him. And, all right. Now, what am I gonna do as far as the setting agenda? I actually think I'm going to play a hard high card here. I'm going to start off strong, I think. So, let's see if we can. And the UK. strong are they going to play? I have to roll a die to figure that out. Uh, what? Well, he's going to beat us again. He's going to play this five card with a plus one, so I don't think he's going to beat us by one. What are the Soviets got, by the way? There he is again. How strong are they? Not that matters. I got a choice of two here. We'll randomize. We'll play him. And so, once again, the British are going to take it with 
five. It's actually a six, and it's going to be this four by two. Uh, so I'm going to get to pick their issue and put it in the two spot. And they are going to go for Paul Mill. And the Soviets get to choose two issues. And they will take Directive Offensive and Production. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try Second Front. Because I can get victory points if I can do this before they get to Central Italy. And the other one is European Leadership. Those will be my two. And now the UK. Well, one of them, because of their card strength, will be Pacific Issue. Theater Leadership. And I think for the last one, I have to pick something randomly. So let's assemble this little cup and pick one. And the magic issue is directed offensive. All right, two of them on there. Okay, fair enough. So that ends the agenda segment. Moving on to the meeting segment. All right, our first debate. Starting with Stalin. And the bot, and this is something I missed on the first, on the last conference, is when A bomb is in play, uh, the bot wants you to go all out and play Joseph Stalin against him. And so I have to discard him. He tells me to discard my weakest card, which is that one, and he is going to play Stalin. And that is going to naturally pop that all the way to here. He would capture that issue. And the question is, do I want to fight it? And then I've been thinking about it, and I could either play my own Roosevelt, which would just basically cancel, the leaders would just cancel each other out and just leave the issue in the middle of the table, which seems like a, such a waste. I could play like a high card to keep him from capturing the issue, maybe a, a five card or something like that, and then try to win it back later. That is really, I think, just kind of destroying my hand for the conference, and I really need to see if I can try to win with it, especially when i got a stronger hand this time. So I think I'm going to have to let him take it. So And that's what I'm going to do. So Stalin becomes inactive. That'll give us a break here um so he will capture that issue inactive okay but now we gotta see if his paranoia kicks in on a two to four all his cards are reduced by one the cards he plays from now on will be reduced by one and he did oh my gosh wow <laughs> his paranoia has kicked in and so, all cards played this remainder of the conference are reduced by one, but not less than one. Well, it is. So, I think this conference is going to be me versus the UK <laughs> for much of it. And it is to me now, and I get to decide. What shall I do? All right, I think I'm regretting taking the second front issue. I mean, I'm going to leave that alone. I don't think anyone else is going to mess with it either. Because you really do have to get the Mediterranean issue solved before you really go for that. So I think it's kind of a waste. Anyway, I'm trying to think what I should do. I think what I want to do is I'm going to kind of throw this card that doesn't uh, have any issues that are connected to it. It's a strong card, but I kind of want to draw. I think I want to see if I can draw the Soviets into a debate on it. So I can kind of burn up his good card. So I'm, I'm gaming the system a little bit. And that's that's the disadvantage of the solo, obviously. But, you know, still fun. Okay, uh, I'm going to do with, actually, European leadership. One, two, three, four. This card. And the Soviets actually will attempt... To debate that because they can pull it on his track. Well, they pull out Voroshilov, and Stalin is not active, by the way. That's only worth five, but it will go one, two, three, four, five. It does pull it onto his card. <clears throat> and now the UK. Actually, the bot is going to direct the UK to go for second front. And Played fairly strongly on it. Uh, you're only supposed to do that once. Well, if uh, Central Italy is still in the Axis power, it is. Um, but you only advance it once, so you're not battling for that issue. But you will advance it. So one, two, three, four, five. 
And Stalin, would he defend it? I doubt it. He wouldn't be able to get it on his track anyway, so he would not. And I'm not going to debate it. It'd be kind of a waste of a card. So, I've decided the Soviets are going to go for that production issue. Using him, uh, remember Stalin's paranoia has reduced him to one plus two, so that's going to be three. On the, U on the production, the UK's production, one, two, three. Now, I might actually consider debating this. Let me think about it. I'm going to go ahead and debate that. Sure. I'm going to use my cards while Roosevelt is still active. I don't know if I'm going to burn him up later. We might. So, might as well get the use out of him. Four. So, one, two, three, four. I will go ahead and pass to the UK. So, CS Evil. An E for betting, sir. Anyway, he's going to go after the UK directed offensive to maximize his card. Seems a little silly to go after your own directive offensive, but he wants to win the conference, so naturally he's going to play to those strengths. And so, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I am actually going to try a new strategy here of playing just a little more aggressively with the baits. I kind of think he had that in mind. So I'm going to play this for five points because Churchill is active. I'm going to pull this directed offensive all the way back to my side. And now it's two to two issues here. Two to two all. Everybody's two all. And um, I think that might have been what the intent was, is there was going to be a lot of back and forth, and there'd be a lot of these little issues, and so it comes down to the wire of someone pulling one back and forth and all that thing. I think that's kind of how it's going to go. So I'm going to try that, see if I can do a little better in these debates, because I got slack the last two. It is the Soviets go. Soviets choose Shaposhnikov. Uh, he doesn't get any bonus, because there's no production, U.S. production on the U.S. track, but it is one of his stronger cards, and so, one, two, three, four. And I'm not really in a position to debate it, so I think I'm not just only going to debate it, I'm also going to pass on my turn, so I don't run out of cards, I don't want to do that. So it's off to, what's his name, Churchill. Alright, UK. Sir Charles Porter, Portal. And on the plate on the issue in the US track, he's got two there. Uh, let me randomize. Oh, one through three. Okay, so he will take the directed offensive. Actually, that makes probably the most sense. One, two, three. And do I want to debate it? I may. I just might. I shall. James Burns. Roosevelt are active. They are. Four. So back. One, two, three, four. And we actually advanced it a little further. Okay, yes. Where is our new aggressive approach? And it is up to the Soviets. Zukov comes out. And we'll have to find out. Oh, um... And this is an important rule. I uh, once I commit, I'm committed to using the card, but I'm not committed to the issue yet. So I can see how strong he is, and then pick my issue from there. Five, uh, which would actually be a four because of um, Stalin's paranoia. Um, but if played on a production issue, it would be back up to a five. But because the only production issue is on a one spot, it would end up, even if I went for something like these, it would end up being in the same place. So I think I'm going to make a choice here, a randomize between these three here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One. So he will go for my production issue that I own. So one, two, three, four, five. It is dawning on me that I am once again going to lose this conference 
to someone else. It might be Stalin that wins this one. And I might just figure out how to best go about losing with grace or <laughs> something. Well, I don't think I'm dead in the water, so I'm not going to debate it. And I'm going to pass because I have that path. I want to save my cards. And we'll pass on to Churchill. Lord Louis, Louis Mountbank. It's going to play on the Pacific leadership for a three. One, two, three. Stolen shall. I might actually debate that. Let me think. All right, I think he's going to debate this. He's trying to win the conference. I think he wants to pull that one into it, even though he's ahead by a little bit. That lead is not going to last up. This is going to be the last card he can play. So he's going to pull this back. One, two, three, four. Like so. And it goes to the Soviets. He has to pass now. He's out of cards. And it goes to me. Move my dice move down here. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to be naughty. I'm going to steal England's Palmetto issue. One, two, whoop. That was there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or was it, uh, did I own that one? No, I don't think it did. I think I'm down up to two. Okay, on to the British. Uh, they have two cards. They have more cards than anyone. Uh, so I think he's going to play his. He's not going to debate that. He only debates the gold bull issue, apparently. The bot does. Seems a little weird to me, but yeah, it must be method to the madness. So we'll play his weak card here on... It's just a two. Um, he could steal from the f Soviets, and the Soviets could do nothing about it. Um, and so he might do that, rather than... Just take the easy pickings there. I think he's going to do that. So he's going to take uh, either one of these. Let's see. He'll go for the European. One, two. And see what I meant about these all hanging here? It's kind of low-hanging fruit for the end of the game. Um, and the question is, would I debate that? And let me think about that. I will not, and the Soviets can't. So it passes to me for my final card play, but the Brits do get another card play. Um, so I'm not going to win this conference. Uh, so the question is, what do I want? And I believe the answer is, I think I want the European uh, theater leadership. Yeah, let's do that. I was thinking about maybe I can capture the Paul Mill issue just for fun. But no. One, two, three, four, five, six. No one is going to debate that. And the British have this for six. And so he can pull my Paul Mill issue right from up from under me. But let me think about that. Uh, I guess I set it up so that the Soviets would win this. <laughs> okay, I guess that's no problem. But, um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that is it. And the Soviets, with four issues. One, two, three, four, are going to be the winners of this conference. What do you know about that? So the Soviets win the directed offensive for America. Yeah, I bet you know where that one's going. That's right, right there. <laughs> uh, there's also a British one that I own. What can I do with that one? I could get cute and make him spend production down in my Pacific. However, I think, and since this is my first game, I don't really have a sense of it, I think the game breaks open after Normandy, and Normandy doesn't really happen until you're in central Italy. And so, with that in mind, I think we're just going to go ahead and get this done. Um, because he goes for, I forgot, basically, second front only happens if this stays in the center. 
at the end of the conference, and it didn't, of course. And I got a cat meowing at me. Yeah, so this is nothing. Now I determine who has how much production. Everybody has their normal production. Well, the Soviets are going to get one of um, England's productions. So, like that. So, the um, allocation part is that first allocations by the conference card and that is these two here so the US and the UK will put uh, offensives there so two and then directive offensives so the US must spend two productions to put two offensive markers here and the UK must spend two, put two offensive markers in the Mediterranean, which is what he wants to do anyway. So not a big deal. Now with my, I go first clockwise from the winner of the conference. And I have three production to spare. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend two to get this front ready for action. And with the remaining one, I can't really think what I want to do with that. Well, with my remaining one, I think I'm gonna go for a light attempt at movement here. All right, so there I allocated. The UK is out of production issues, which stinks for him because he had this Paul Mill issue, but he can't fund it. So it's gone. And I bet you can't guess what the Soviets are going to do. That's right, they're going to dump all five production into the Eastern Front. <laughs> all right. All right, the leadership, uh, theater leadership issues. The British command there. And then naturally, they're going to put their bonus offensive support here. I run the Pacific Theater and I'm going to go ahead and put mine here. So I won the Eastern Theater leadership and I will take command of that and gain my two bonus offensive markers. One will be a Navy and that will get us ready for the second front with a total of five there and the last one I think is just going into you know where right okay. get that going all right and so the soviets won the pacific uh, leadership issue which they can win even though they can't have command of the theater they get to decide who does and they get the two bonus offensive markers and the question is and i went over this in my mind would the soviets they can't get into the spot, but would they be such a jerk that they would put the offensive marker markers in here? And I decided that he would be at least semi-cooperative and wouldn't do something like that. So what we'll do is we will randomize where he puts them by uh, using the access reserve uh, table. So rolling a die for each one, you will put one in Southwest Pacific. And he will put the other uh, in here. Seems reasonable enough. And finally, he gets to decide who is the Pacific Leader uh, Command. Let's say one through three, it stays US. Four through six, it'll be the UK. It will be the UK. All right. Finally, the Soviets won the A-bomb research, and this is easy. There's no die roll. He automatically advances because he's stealing <laughs> the, the uh, secrets and technology. So, that is the, conf the uh, conference phase. All the conference phase. We went through the whole thing and put their intro on, and next will come the war phase. 
and that's what we'll do next time. Until then, thanks for watching.